One of the biggest misconceptions regarding how to become a millionaire is that all millionaires become an overnight success, that they picked the perfect lottery ticket and all of a sudden, poof, they're making millions. Let me go and tell you this right now. That is never the case. Most millionaires have to grind it out that they have so many failed ideas and that the only thing that you see is the one or the ones that actually made it. Today we have a guest, Joseph Hogue, and he's gonna share and expand on this idea for this Wealth Hack Wednesday episode. Go and take it away, Joe. Hey Wealth Hackers, Joseph Hogue here from the Let's Talk Money channel and a big shout out to Jeff for creating this community for us to all share and grow together. Now when Jeff reached out about the opportunity to share my favorite wealth hack, I was pumped, like puffer fish hooked up to an air hose pump. That's because I'm gonna bust one of the biggest myths about self-made millionaires and building wealth. You see, everyone thinks that these self-made millionaires, the most successful people in business, got that way from hitting on that one lucky idea. That their genius just led them to that one great idea that made millions. The fact is that most millionaires have had at least one failure and many times a string of bad business ideas. Thomas Corley in his study of self-made millionaires found it took an average of 38 years to make their millions. In fact, most of them, 80%, didn't become wealthy until the age of 50. But it's not that age that made them rich. They didn't just wake up on their 50th birthday and get hit by that lightning bolt of an idea. It was trying lots of ideas and learning from each. Richard Branson isn't just the billionaire founder of Virgin Records, Virgin Atlantic, and just about everything else he can slap the label on. Growing up dyslexic, he had to work to the bone for everything he has, failing on a student magazine he started at 16 and almost going bust on a string of other ideas. James Dyson created over 5,100 vacuum prototypes over 15 years before taking his first finished product to market in 1993. Less than 30 years later, his vacuums have sold in over 50 countries and have made him a multi-billionaire. Success doesn't come to the lucky. It comes to the people that try, fail, learn from it, and keep trying. I worked years grinding it out, creating six blogs in 2013 and building those online businesses, but I never felt like I really hit that $1 million idea. Last year, after trying self-publishing, affiliate marketing, just about every stream of online income, I started developing a YouTube channel. In one year, we built a community of 36,000, and I'm on track to reach 100,000 this year. Income from YouTube has blown up, and I hit that six-figure payday from online assets. Failure is feedback. Never be afraid to try different ideas. Develop those different business ideas. You will be successful. And Mark Twain is quoted as saying, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. And this quote is as true in business as it is in life. Never give up the chance to try something new, a new idea, because it could be your big one. Now, I've got two easy rules to follow to put this idea to work. Two rules that are going to guarantee your success someday. First is just to focus on those low capital ideas, like some of the great passive income ideas Jeff talks about on the channel. Those little business ideas you can start with no money so you're not risking your savings. This is going to ensure that you don't go bust before you get that one big idea. Next is just to put in the work. Don't just check that box and say, well, I tried and then move on. Learn what it takes to run your idea like a business and make it work. This is going to mean putting in the time, reading books on marketing, accounting, and just how to run a business. That time you spend will come back to you though because when you've created that six or, or even seven figure business, you're gonna be able to make the decisions to take your time back. I guarantee you, you will be successful. Not only will you eventually hit that one big idea, but not all your businesses are gonna be total failures. Some will evolve into small passive income hustles, things that you can maintain on just a couple hours a week and produce consistent income. It's all gonna to build to those multiple income streams that are the hallmark of the rich. That average seven income streams even before you hit that one big jackpot idea. Big thanks again to Jeff for creating this community of hard chargers.